use is rules. All right, again, we've talked about this. This is verbal stuff. If you say, here's what's going to get you reinforced, uh, or I'm sorry, here's what's no longer acceptable and will not get you any attention, but here's what will get you attention. That's a good way to do it, right? So the, the extinction is set up. It's, you know, it's very clear as to what you expect as, as the behavior modifier. Um, and it, it, it's clear to the person that's, a, uh, the, that's a, involved in your change program. <laughs> extinction produces aggression. Okay? It also produces frustration. Frustration is related to aggression. So um, sometimes it's going to you know, people are going to get pissed. Okay? Think of it this way. You've been doing something for X number of years. You've always been getting away with it. You're getting a reinforcer for it. And all of a sudden, you're no longer getting a reinforcer for it. You're no longer getting something out of it. Yeah, you'd probably be pretty pissed too. Right? Or at, least, at the very least, frustrated. In fact, frustration, when you start to analyze it, what it really is, is failure to access a reinforcer. So frustration is really a, a very natural byproduct of extinction because with extinction, you're withholding access to a reinforcer, which will automatically produce frustration. Because in the past, it, you've been reinforced for it. So behavior X, no longer going to work because now it's on extinction, but you were always reinforced in the past, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to try harder. Think about the pop machine, right? So you're at the pop machine, you, you, know, you press the button, it doesn't give you your, your Coke or whatever, so you press the button again. But you also get a little frustrated, you're like, oh really? you like the damn machine, you just took my dollar, right? And then if you keep pressing the button and it doesn't work, you're going to start to get really frustrated, right? And you'll keep you know, expressing about how the machine ate your money. You might even make a little sign and stick it on there. Some people get aggressive and kick the machine, right? Or shake it or do something like that. So, But those are all normal things that happen as a result of extinction. This even happens in the animal world, by the way. That's not just a uniquely human thing. All right, let's look in more detail at this extinction burst because it's, it's kind of a useful thing. So we're going to look at our baseline here. There's our extinction phase. So there's the burst right there. Bingo. Okay. If, you, so if you're using extinction, if you're a behavior modifier and you're using extinction, guess what? You see the behavior get worse, you're on the right track. Don't give up. Okay. Too many people use the extinction, try to use extinction. They see it getting worse. And then what do they do? They give up. Right? because the behavior got worse. So they conclude, incorrectly by the way, they conclude extinction didn't work. It's a, it's a useless process. It doesn't work. It sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no. The extinction procedure was working because the behavior got worse before it got better. Right? Here's the danger. If you give up, so think of the kid in the store. Right? So the kid in the store, right over here during the baseline, you're throwing a temper tantrum, right? So you got this nasty little tantrum going on. But uh, the idea is, again, we got a kid in the, in the store, they're throwing a tantrum, so they got a pretty serious tantrum going on. Parents have had enough, so they decide, I'm going to try and put this on extinction. So by extinguishing it, they're not going to give the kid the M&Ms, right? So it's you know, a sort of tasty m &M. So the kid's going to scream away, I want m and I want m and they're not going to give in, all right? So they've made a, an agreement to stick with it and be, you know, be serious about it. They heard about extinction, so they're going to give this a shot. And what do they know? The tantrum gets worse. A behavior analyst is going to say, good, it means you're on the right track, keep it up. But somebody that's not completely familiar with extinction is going to think that they just ruined the behavior. So what they do, they give in because they want that behavior to go away, right? So there's your giving in right there. The moment you give in, now you can get an idea of what's going to go on here, right? So your baseline was at one level. Now you just reinforce behavior at a higher level. Guess where your new baseline is going to be? Okay, that's that extended line there. And then now you as the parent realize, oh my gosh, this is just getting worse. I want to extinguish it again. Well, guess what? it's going to get even worse yet. So the red line that intersects the y-axis there um, is basically showing you how high that behavior went from baseline. So where it was already a problem at baseline and then you started extinction, you didn't wait, you didn't let it continue, all right? And bingo, uh, uh, you, know, you made the behavior worse. Ultimately, what's going on here is this is the power of intermittent reinforcement, right? So you put the behavior on, the behavior was a baseline, the kid throwing tantrums, and then you put it on extinction, no reinforcers, right? So now it's going to get a little bit worse, but then you screwed up and you reinforced after that. So now you went from a maybe a situation where the kid was only getting reinforced every, you know, every once in a while for the, or getting reinforced and, uh, for the tantrums quite regularly, that was the baseline stage, and you started extinction, and you, which basically, which by definition then means you're now on an intermittent situation. You've got no reinforcers coming for that behavior. 
but then at that red point you actually reinforced it. So now you set up from a continuous, possibly during baseline, to an intermittent schedule of reinforcement. Intermittent schedules are much harder to extinguish than continuous schedules, and they, they hold more behavior, so to speak. So by screwing up a little bit right there during that first extinction phase, then not letting it continue, you did you, you, you screwed up a couple of things. Number one, you reinforced the behavior at a higher rate, okay, and then you also um, put the behavior on an intermittent schedule, which makes it more resistant to extinction in the future, making your problem that much harder to deal with. So if again, you'll see that extinction burst a second time and it takes even longer for it to carry out. Right? So that's the problem with doing this stuff. So it's the extinction works, there's no question about it. Once you have control over the appropriate reinforcer, you'll know because the behavior is getting worse. That's a good thing, right? Because it's about ready to get better. So the fact that it's getting worse signals to you that you found the correct reinforcer, stick with it. Okay? Don't give in because the other, you know, you're gonna end up doing this sort of, causing this sort of graph. Now, why might it be that people give in? Now, think about that for a second. You're the parent in the store, right? Kids throwing a tantrum, screaming, and then all of a sudden they start screaming worse, like screaming bloody murder, and I'm not going to show you, and I'm not going to demonstrate that for you, but you get the idea. They're going absolutely insane. What are you going to do? You're going to be embarrassed, right? Everybody's going to be looking at you. People are going to be maybe freaking out, thinking you're beating your child or something. Um, but you're the parent. You know what's going on. Don't worry as much about those other people if you can. The problem is, is that they've got control over your behavior too. So actually implementing an extinction procedure in that type of setting can be very difficult. But people do it, you know, regularly people do it. So the next time you're in the store and you see a parent and you've got their kid on extinction and the behavior and the kid's just screaming away, go up and give the parent a reinforcer. <laughs> because trust me, they need it, <laughs> right? Because the kid's screaming is definitely not reinforcing their behavior of using extinction, trying to get the kid to stop screaming. So drop up, give them a reinforcer. Say, hey, I know what you're doing, keep it up. You know, something like that. Who knows? It might work, it might not.